Old Town Sacramento is a popular destination for tourists who enjoy Mexican food, a scenic view, and a taste of the local history. However, some might overlook the people who make their experience possible, the invisible people who keep their heads down and do what they must to earn a living, the Latino immigrants. On the bus, sometimes people would just stare at me and they're like, dude, you don't belong here, or um, people would call me spig, or, you know, but, you know, I feel bad for them. You know, I, I just believe people uh, need to diversify their thinking um, in order to better understand other cultures, um, understand their situations on why they, um, they leave their home country. To keep his identity safe, we have blurred Fernando's face. He describes his journey to the United States from Honduras. We've translated his voice from Spanish to English. When I was on my way here from Honduras, I was kidnapped with 40 others. We were all held in one room. Everyone called family for ransom. None were able to pay. Sometimes they would feed us. Sometimes they wouldn't. If someone couldn't pay, they would take them and they'd never come back. They would kill them. They would rape all of the women, even if their family said they could pay. Then we escaped. We were freed. They picked me up at my house at six in the morning. They took me from there, no questions asked. They took me from here to Stockton, rushing. I mean, they were going like 100 miles an hour, rushing. They, we got to Stockton, and we picked, well, on the way, though, they picked up hell of people. And I saw wives crying, I saw kids crying, pleading to the officers to not to take their daddies. I mean, it was hell sad. I don't think people, I don't think the, 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 uh, the uh, people that do make those uh, laws or whatever, um, I don't think they really know what it's like to, to, to see kids. Because that gets into a kid's head. When you see your daddy be taken away, it hurts. And I saw that. I saw kids crying. I saw uh, moms you know, grabbing their sons. It was sad. It wasn't me, but I was like, wow. During that time, I got to talk to a lot of me. Uh, when I got to see them in lunch, the Mexicanos, uh, they would cry, you know. Uh, I saw their kids and their wives crying, and uh, all I could do is sing them a song, S stay strong, and, and, and you'll see it through, you know. Nothing in life can, can stop you. It's hard. You miss your country. But if I get deported, I'm not going back to Honduras. I miss my family, but I'm not going back. Keep your dreams, keep your faith, um, stay out of trouble, um, and just keep fighting for your, for your documentation. Yeah.